to make my own clothes when I was only 11 or 12. Okay, so try to make or try making, you can also say that, okay? Mm -hmm. Like what's up? Yeah, continue please, uh, Marco. Okay. Okay, let's me let's me please. This is they the were they okay. were awful, but I kept on. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, they were awful, but I kept on uh, uh, sewing. Yeah, sewing. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. And I chose God uh, better and better. Mm -hmm. Then I began to experiment. Exactly. I began to experiment. Okay. Very good. To Andrea, experiment? continue. Thank okay. you. Yes, continue, Andrea. Okay. I hate. Uh, hate it. I hate it. Mm -hmm. mm, I hate it. Don't have. Not. Ah, okay, not have. Not. Not to have. Uh -huh. Okay, or not having. Okay, mm -hmm. not have or not have. Okay. Anything really original to wear so i start to design okay to this design design or design mm -hmm. or design mm -hmm. okay marquito continue okay i i guess uh, i went to fashion school I guess I just stopped, stopped, and uh, to to think uh, about. Uh -huh. Okay, I stop to think. No, I stop thinking. Okay, thinking. Uh, okay, yes, continue. And I will explain in a moment. Uh huh. Come on. Okay. Uh, Okay, about a career as an artist, and I decide to become uh, a fashion designer instead. Okay, excellent. Instead, very good. Yes. Now, guys, for example, here, what's the difference? What's the difference if you say, I, I guess I just stop to think? Okay, I stop to think. For example, when you say, when you, the meaning, when you used to think, or I stop to think, for example, I stop to think about my career. That's, that means, that means that I was working and then I stopped and I started thinking about my career. Okay, yes. Okay, for example, uh, uh, for example, here, I just stop. I uh, stop to drink. Uh, for example, I no, I stop. I stop here. I stop to drink. I. I uh, sorry. I stopped drinking. What is the difference? 
okay? The difference is that, for example, here, when you say drink, when you talk about beer, okay? Okay, when you talk about beer, for example, drink beer, yes? For example, I stopped to drink. That means that I was driving and I just stopped. I went to a Noxo or a 7-Eleven or whatever and drink a beer. But if you say, you know what? I stopped drinking. So that means that you don't consume anymore, okay? That you don't consume anymore beer, okay? That's the difference, okay? When you, when yes, you, I remember. yeah, when you use a stop, for example, particular verbs like stop has a, a double meaning, a double meaning. For example, here, it's a, they, they have two meanings, very different. You can say this and you can say this and it's correct, but the meaning is different. Okay? Yes. All right, you guys. Very good. Good, good. Okay, now. Um, so let's complete the story. Okay, look. Let's complete the story. Diana, can you read the instruction, please? Read the story using the sentences in the box in the correct order. Make the story more dramatic. Change okay. the verb in the sentences to the rest the present tense. Okay, remember that we use the present, I mean, we're talking a story. A story is usually in the past, right? But we use the present perfect to make it more like, my, more dramatic, okay? So, here we have to complete, we have to complete this paragraph with these sentences, okay? So, come on. It says, I was driving, okay? Uh, can you help me, Andrea? Yes, Andrea? Okay. I was driving in this narrow mountain road in Yellowstone National Park. I turned a corner and suddenly um, suddenly I uh, I saw remember we're using the present okay it's that's that's correct but we're using the present I okay I see uh -huh. This bigger, this bigger bear, right in front of me. This this big bear. Uh -huh. Big bear, in front of me. Ah, uh, right in front of me. Uh huh. What else? Mm. So, ah, uh, so I turned the car sharply to to the right. Uh, okay, but here we have, okay, this is number one. Number two. Okay. Look at number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it was? No, remember in present. Okay, it is it's uh -huh. yes it's just, just uh -huh. walking slowly across the road okay uh -huh. and then you go to the car okay so i turn the car sharply to the right okay excellent what else and I just miss the bear. I just miss the bear. Excellent, very good. So, good job guys, good job. In this case, um, Andrea, on this exercise, remember that we use the present perfect. I'm sorry, the, the simple present, okay? Mm -hmm. The simple present for this, okay? So, and the ending, but it was really close. Okay, I almost went off the side of the road. Okay, so this is part of a story. 
Yeah, this is a uh, unit unit one. Okay. Now let's move on, you guys, with number two. Okay. Number two. Uh, in number two, uh, first we have the vocabulary. Okay. Look at the vocabulary, you guys. Eda, Eda, Yana, can you help me with the instruction, please? There A or B? B. There's the word that goes below in each. Okay. So one word, guys, one word doesn't belong to the to the line. Okay? One word is not correct in the line. For example, here we have leather, wool, okay, leather, wool, rubber, baggy. Okay? So which word do you think doesn't belong here? Come on, think think about number one first. Come on. Um baggy. Okay, why baggy? Yeah, it's baggy, that's the correct, but why baggy? Because baggy is a style or material. <laughs> okay, exactly. The others are material, right, Diana? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, what about number two? Yes? Uh, can you read it, Marco? Number two, the words, turquoise. Okay. Um... Okay, turquoise. Um, red. Can you continue? Read. Uh, red. I. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, red. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue. Ah uh, yes. Read the read the the, the line the line turquoise red. What is the next? Ah, uh, okay. Tur Turkish uh, uh, belong red, uh, red and and green. Uh, okay. Because the word is talk about uh, the color. I think uh, the answer is red and green. Ah, uh, no. Okay, red, red and green are colors. Okay. In uh -huh. and, and turquoise is a color? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so green is a color, red is a color, turquoise is a color, but ah, butter. No, but, ah, okay. It's sorry. Not, contrary. Contrary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah. Butter. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. Butter. It's sorry, okay. I was, yes. was struck. <laughs> Yeah, you were okay, you okay. you uh, you were uh, you didn't understand the instruction, right? Okay. Yeah. Pattern. Mm -hmm. Pattern, Pattern exactly. Is yes. the answer. Yes, exactly. Pattern, Pattern is the answer. Very good, you guys. Excellent. So, come on. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Marco. Come on, number okay. no, um, David, number three. Okay, number three. Striped, short sleeved, light. Polka dot. Okay. Uh, okay. Then... Short sleeve doesn't belong the group. Exactly. Because a stripe, plate, and polka dots, they are patterns. Okay? Exactly. They are part of pattern. Exactly. Patterns. Very good. Now, thank you. Uh, Andrea, come on, number five. Okay. Okay. Mm. The, the name? Denim, exactly. Denim. Yes, denim, because these are type of of uh, the, the 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 neck the neck of the of the of the different, yeah of the different of the different shirts 
and t-shirts, right? Well, uh, actually, actually t-shirts, yes? Yes. True neck, turtle neck, yes? Denim is the material which jeans are made of. Jeans are made of. So, Marquito, number, number five. Okay. Uh, I think, okay, is, is neon. Okay. Neon. Uh, neon. Well, bright, pastel, and neon. Uh, or oh, is cashmere. I think it's cashmere. Yeah, it's cashmere, right? Ca cashmere is is a is a is a is a fiber, okay? It's a it's a fiber, uh, and uh, and it's a it's a yeah the the yeah it's it's material exactly it's material yes, and it comes from in and it comes from the goats you know the the goats, uh, they usually come from come from those animals, right? The goats, Casimir. Yes. Now look at the last one. Yeah. Look at the last one, number six. Uh, yeah, uh, Diana, come on. Um, I think it's polyester. Polyester, excellent, very good. Because those are the others are are a styles of you know of jeans right yes a jean can be fitted can be flare or can be a uh, boot cut. cut exactly boot cut but not movies yes if you go if you go to uh for example when you buy jeans okay they have they have these uh, they have these words in the jean for example if you want it fitted if you want it flare or book or boot cut, okay? So, so guys, excellent. Those are the words that doesn't, the words that don't belong to, uh, to the group, okay? Yes. Now look at letter C, you guys. Let's move on to letter C. Diana, please, can you read the, the examples and the instruction? Letter C? Yeah, exercise C. Complete sentences with the same meaning use as as. Marla used to wear more makeup. Marla doesn't wear as much makeup as she used. Okay. So, as you can see here, guys, we have a, where is it? Here, yes. Uh, as doesn't wear as, okay. As. So here, here, when it says much makeup, all right. Here we're using a noun, yes. Makeup. You can use. You you can use a. a um, you can use um, either a noun or an adjective, okay? For example, in number one, David, can you read number one, please? My parents are more interested, interested in fashion than I am. Okay, thank you. So, my parents are more interested than me, mm -hmm. right? So, okay. so I'm not. I am. I am not. Uh, as as much interested as okay. as interested have, as interested exactly as interested as as uh, they as they. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, it's good. As, inter as interested in fashion, okay, you fashion. can see that, in mm -hmm. fashion, as who? As them, as okay. my parents. As, as my parents, exactly, yes, as my parents, yeah. I mean, you can use also them because you're referring, you're referring to your parents, okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay, number two, guys, look at number two. 
Eh, ya, yeah. eh, Marco, come on. Uh, can, you read, can you read the sentence? Más seguido. Okay. Uh, my friends and I used, used to shop for clothes more often. Okay. Uh, my friends and I don't uh I don't so you, you you have to use the verb what, what is the verb you are using okay use no 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 no, no. I my friends I don't show I don't show uh, for clothes yes uh -huh. I show uh-huh Shot for clothes. Uh -huh. As, uh, as a uh, I use it and as we as no shop for clothes as and then you you have to use the the word about frequency what's the word uh, as often as often as we uh -huh. we used to we we used to ah, okay we used to exactly okay. yes. used guys to. yeah look here in this sentence yeah after after the auxiliary don't you are expected to use a verb don't don't forget that, okay? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I don't shop, and then shop, and then uh, if you have a noun, well, no problem. I don't shop mm -hmm. for clothes, and then you use the comparisons as often mm -hmm. as we used to, okay? Mm -hmm. So, so here the 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 key is this: if you the, the frequency here, you're talking about the frequency, okay? Yes. So. All right, that was number three. Yeah. Um, Andrea, come on. Sorry, that okay. was number two. Number three, Andrea. Come on, can you read the sentence? Okay. I like comfortable shoes more than stylish ones. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, I like this, but I don't like this. So, Andrea. Okay. I don't like stylish shoes. Okay. As, as comfortable. Uh, comfortable shoes. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. I don't like stylish shoes as it says more than stylish. Stylish. Okay. As much. Much. Okay. Mm -hmm. As much. much as. As comfortable. Mm -hmm. As comfortable one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as comfortable okay. ones. Okay. Okay. Comfortable ones. Yes, as comfortable ones. All right, you guys. So, okay. Now look at number four. Marquito, come on, help me with number four. Can you read it? Sister, yes. My sister has sweet. We were. You were? So huh? We were close than she like. My sister doesn't have uh, as. No, I guess. Yeah, yeah. as. Close. No, no. fewer, fewer clothes. No. Uh, as. Okay, what is the opposite? What is the opposite of fewer? 
more more many many as many, many. Uh, okay many as many. ma as okay many clothes as many clothes as aha uh -huh. as um, mice she as she, she okay as she 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 like okay exactly as she like look here so re remember hey here we are we are playing in some of them we are playing with a, a opposite what is the opposite of fewer many why mm -hmm. because here we are starting with a negative here we are starting with a negative sentence my sister doesn't have as many okay yes so as many clothes as she'd like okay so uh, all right uh, remember that you can have in the middle you can have a, 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 a noun you can have a noun you can have an adjective or you can have an adverb okay yes so uh, okay you guys now we're gonna move on to the next part okay uh, and it says uh, look at the instruction Andrea can you help me read the instruction please Okay. Okay. Hiller is shopping for clothes with her friend. Read, read the statements as negative questions. Okay. Okay. That, okay. Yeah. that black skirt is beautiful. Isn't that black skirt beautiful? Okay. Excellent, very good. Where are you seeing the verb be, right? Yes. Where are you seeing the verb be? So here we have to start the question with the verb be. If we use a verb, any other verb, remember we use, we can use uh, we can use do or don't in negative, okay? So, okay. come on. Uh, yeah, um, Andrea, please, number one. Okay. I think the blouses are a little expensive. Don't you think? Don't you think okay. the, blouses? The, the blouses are a little expensive? Exactly, a little expensive, okay? Now, here you can use this. Don't you think, okay? Don't you think the blouses are a little expensive? Or, or you can use the other form with the verb be. What would be the other form? Are the blouses are a little expensive? Exactly, yes. It says, uh, aren't, aren't the blouses. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. aren't so, blouses. Exactly, so you, you, can use, uh, you can use the expression, don't you think, okay? Or you can start with the verb be, aren't, okay? So come on, Diana, number two, number three, come on. Okay. The answer is, don't you like the belt? Maybe that sweater is the wrong color. Uh, okay, Diana. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm saying other question. Maybe that sweater is the green color. Is that the sweater? But what, what's the negative of is? Isn't. Okay. Yeah, sounds better. 
Then that is sweater. Okay, thank you. Continue with number three, please, Andrea. Okay. I'm surprised you don't like the bell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Here we have the verb like and don't. Okay. Don't you like the bell? Exactly. Yes. Diana, number four. This dress is a little. Don't you think this dress is a little high? Uh, one more time, please. Number four, it, right? Yes, it's number four. When you think this dress looks a little tight. When you think this dress, when you think, when you think this dress, uh, yeah, exactly. You can do that too. Or you can say, doesn't this dress look a little tight? Okay, very good. Number five, number five. Uh, David, come on. I love the scarves. The scarves. The scarves. I love the scarves. Don't I love the scarves? Uh, okay. Don't. Don't you love? You love don't the, you scarves. Love the scarves? Okay. 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 And um, Marco, number six, please. Okay. Shouldn't we probably try another store? The answer? Shouldn't we probably try another store? Yeah, shouldn't we try another shouldn't we try another store? Yes. Okay. Should. Where is it? Uh, shouldn't we try another store? Don't you think we should try another store? Okay. That's another phrase. Okay, you guys? So, all right. So remember, here the key or the clue, the clue is to check first the verb, okay? The verb, I have the verb be, okay? Or do I have another verb, okay? Yes. And from that, and from that, uh, you can use uh, uh, the, the, the question form, isn't that black? Okay, are in the blouses a little a little expensive? Okay, you guys. So, uh, all right, let's move on to the next part, you guys. Check the response that summarizes that that best summarizes each statement. Okay. For example, look at number one. Yeah, look at number one. Uh, uh, let's see, um, Andrea, number one, letter A. Okay. I don't really like to wear bright colors. Pastel are nicer. 
um, you prefer clothes with softer colors okay you prefer exactly thank you yes for example i don't really like to wear bright colors faster and nicer well so this means that you prefer clothes with softer colors softer colors okay come on diana number two i think this Makeover shows are pretty unrealistic. Unrealistic. I, unrealistic. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. So unrealistic, that means that that is not true. I never watch them anyway. I never watch them anyway. Um, I think this makeover shows shows are pretty unrealistic. So unrealistic means that that uh, that is not that that is not a how can I say um, that is not believable. Okay. That is not believable. That that I can believe that I can believe they are real. Okay. Okay. So uh, it's the people are really believable. Exactly. Yes, the people aren't really believable. For example, if I show you a picture of, of something, okay, and it's unrealistic, well, the people aren't really be believable. Okay. That means that the people are represented in a different way than they usually do, okay? So, thank you. Uh, Marquito, number three, please. Can you read it? Okay. Uh, I love the music of the N60. And there was so much going on back then. then. You're right. And That was a, lo a long time ago. Okay. Uh, oh, well. There was so much going. There was so much going on back then. There, there were lots of, lots of singers and songs. So that means that there, that, that, that was. There, there was a lot of variety. Exactly. Yes, you have you have a lot to choose from. Okay, you have a lot to choose from, right? So, uh, yeah, Marco, can you help me with the with the last one, please? Okay, Monica's apartment is just lovely. She really knows how to decorate. Absolutely, the place looks wonderful. Exactly. Yes, the place looks wonderful. It looks great. Yes, excellent, you guys. So, okay, now uh, let's move on, you guys. Let's move on to uh, the next the next unit, okay? And in the next unit, um, can you read the instructions, Diana, please? Let me. Okay. Look at the cultural rules in the United States. Write the expression from the box that have the same meaning as the underlying paragraph. Phrases. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Diana. Number one. In which areas it's okay to go with some shoes? Uh, the expression is the walk around barefoot. Walk around barefoot, right? Excellent. That's number number one. So it's talking about cultural rules, okay? Yes, and we have to match the meaning. Go without shoes. That means to walk around barefoot. Barefoot means 
no shoes, no sandals, okay? All right, so you are not wearing anything. All right, uh, continue, continue please, uh, Andrea. Okay. When people are waiting to buy tickets at a movie theater, don't is on a step in front of them. Mm. Cut in line. Exactly, cut in line. Very good. Yes, cut in line. Number three. Uh, Marquito, come on. And speak quietly. Uh, quietly. Quietly in a hospital or a library. Keep your voice uh, down. Exactly. Very good. Keep your voice down. That's good. Okay. Continue, David. Number four. Number four. It's sometimes okay to hold hands or kiss in public. Okay. I think show affection. Exactly. Show, show affection. Thank you. Okay. Marco, please. Okay. Number five. Uh, don't try to get a lower price when you're shopping in a, in a store. The prices of most things are fixed. Uh, fixed. Uh, fixed. Okay. Uh, how much is uh, bargain? Yeah, bargain. 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 Yes, bargain. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Bargain. Okay. Number six. Diana, please. Put extra money on the table for you. Wait before you leave a restaurant. You are accepted. A tip. Exactly. Yes. Tip. Yeah, when you leave a tip, that means that um, when, when you leave a tip, that means that you leave uh, some money for the person. Okay? Some money for the, for the other person. Okay? So, all right, you guys. Good. So, this is uh, more like vocabulary. Okay? Now, let's also talk about traditions okay look at the traditions yes so in this case what we're gonna do is to um uh, andrea now uh, can you read the instructions please andrea okay much the statements about custom or tradition with the response write the letter then copy complete equation with a simple present passive. Exactly. Passive. Yeah, with a present passive, okay? <clears throat> okay, so, um, look, at, look at number one, guys. Andrea, can you read number one, please? Okay. North is an important traditional whole thing in Iran. In Iran, okay. Iran. Norus is a, an important traditional uh, holiday in Iran, okay. Yes. Uh, now, what do you think, okay? What do you think would be the correct response about Norus? Mm. Wait, let me let me go back here. Uh, here, there you go. Come on. I think letter E. Okay, yes. It's a letter, yeah. Letter E, right? Yeah. So letter E, yes. And what's the, can you complete letter E? Okay, that's interesting. When is it celebrated? Celebrated. Celebrated. Exactly. Very good. 
Very good use of the passive, a uh, simple uh, present passive, uh, Andrea. Okay. So as Andrea here mentioned, uh, she um, she asked the question like this, right? When is uh, wait? When, for example, here is it? Okay, celebrated. So we have verb B, we have the pronoun, and we have the verb. Okay, you guys. So now, so number one is already there. Now number two, yes, number two. Um, let's see. Come on, Marquito. Can you read it, number two? Cricket is a popular sport in England. I think it's in the letter C. Exactly. Is it? Okay. I, yeah. I, letter C, right? Yeah. I've heard of it, but... Oh, and how is it played? <laughs> exactly, very good. How is it played? Remember, played. 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 Exactly. Thank you. Now, very good. Uh, David, please, number three. These are hung Hamburg. No These uh -huh. are Hamburg. They are traditional dress from Korea. Okay. They are beautiful. Letter A. Letter A, uh huh? They are beautiful. When Ah, they are beautiful. When they are weird. Worn. When, worn. when are they worn? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. When are they when I when are they worn? Excellent. Very good, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now um what about the what about the other? Uh, let's see, uh, Diana, come on. Okay. Number the four. Yes, the Marseillaise is the national anthem in France. Okay. So... Remember oh, that? It, yes, 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 yes. I remember. I remember. I think it's letter E. Exactly. Yes. Uh huh. So, Andrea, can you complete? Andrea, I am sorry, Diana. Yes. All right. So, is it is it sunk? Exactly. Sunk. Yeah, is it sunk? Is it sung what? An important holiday. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, is it sung on important holidays? Okay, very good. Okay, now look at number five. Number five, come on. Yeah, um, Marco, come on. Okay. Roast turkey is usually served on uh, Thanksgiving in Canada and the US, USA. The US. US, okay. Uh -huh. What foods are they served with it? 
Okay, that's a letter D, right? What foods are they served with it? What food are they uh -huh, served with? Excellent, you guys, very good. Yeah. So, so, okay. And, and number six, okay. Andrea, come on. Okay. They still make cuckoo clocks in the black forest in Germany. Okay. The letter, letter, letter P. Okay, what? Uh huh. Letter B. Okay. Are are they are they are they made? Mm -hmm. Are they made by hand? By hand. Okay, you guys, very good. Are they made by hand? All right. So, guys, as you can see, here we are using uh, the simple present passive, okay, to talk about traditions and customs, okay? How things are done in, in different, how, how things are done in different places, okay, you guys? Now, uh, look at the, uh, let's move on, guys, let's move on with the next part. And here we have complete statements about manners with a verb, with verb plus ing or two plus verb, okay? Yes? Eight. Okay, now look at number one. Saudi Arabia. Okay, guys, look at the look at the look at the, the sentence. Okay. Yes. Saudi Arabia, what? Can, can you help it with number one? It's simple like to show the bottom of your foot. It's simple like to show. So. Okay. Thank you. Now, what about number two? What about number two, you guys? Okay. Making. Uh -huh. Making loud noises when you eat so is considered polite. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. What about number three? Yes, number three. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Mar Marquito, come on. It's okay to refuse food uh, before to accept it. Teacher, you okay. okay. If, uh huh. Before to accept accept it. it. Uh, okay. Uh -huh, exactly. Accept. Accepting. We have the ing okay. form. Okay. Yes. Mm. Accepting. Now. Okay. Look at number number four. Yes. Look at number four, you guys. Number four. It's good manners. It's good what? manners not to arrive and party exactly on time. Okay, not to arrive. Arrive. Okay. Uh -huh. Not to arrive. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Not to arrive at a party exactly on time. Okay, very good, you guys. Now, and number five, Japan. Yes, Japan. So here, 
in number five, uh, uh, Diana, can you help me, please? You can offend people by not taking off your shoes before you enter their house. By what, Diana, sorry? Not taking. Not taking. Thank you, very good. Number six. Number six, continue, please. Uh, David, can you help me? Okay. The U.S. asking someone about his or her salary is considered root. Yes, very good, very good. Number seven, uh, Marco, please. Okay, friends, it's acceptable to show affection in public. Excellent, to show affection in public, very good, yes. Okay, thank you. Andrea, number eight. Okay. Thailand, it's rude for a stranger. Mm. Remember, here we have the, the adjective. It's rude. It's rude. For example, it's impolite. Okay. It's rude for a stranger. Too bad. Too bad. Excellent. Very good, you guys. A child yeah. naked. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys. Well, we're going to stop here, you guys. Okay? We're going to stop here. And, um, and, and this, is, uh, this was the, the review. I will, guys, see you tomorrow. Check your topics. Sorry. Check your topics, please. Okay, and, and, and tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll do the exam, all right? Yes? Take care, you guys. Have a nice evening, all right? Okay, okay. teacher. See you. Okay. See you tomorrow, tomorrow, everybody. See you, teacher. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye, you guys.